Hello, Mini Hazel Boot Midi Error. Uh, Sivodnia, I'm going to show you the editor that I've made for the TX81Z Yamaha FM synthesizer. Okay, so it's an editor that I've made in Max MSP. It's called TX81Z Edit und das Automat. Um, so, what you have on the left here is TX81Z Edit. Uh, which is a fully featured editor for the TX81Z, encompassing all of the features. Uh, on the right hand side here you have DAS Automat, which uh, is a way of routing CC messages from your controller direct to the TX81Z and assigning them to certain things. Cool, so what I've got here is a very simple, very simple uh, sound form coming from one oscillator. Uh, coming from operator one here, th this one. The other operators, as you can see, are all turned down. Um, so this box here is operator one, operator two, operator three, operator four. These two black boxes at the top are sort of the master controls and the effects. So let's just go around, uh, have a little play. What you'll notice here is there's a frequency knob, so you can play the sound. and affect the frequency of it. But what DAS Automart allows you to do is to select a parameter for oscillator 1. Let's change operator 1 frequency. Now with the CC message, now when I'm turning the knob on my controller, I don't need to use the software to do that. So you've got all the features of uh, the synth available here. Attack rate, for example. Attack, decay, release, and all that stuff. <clears throat> Amplitude modulation. You have the option to flick between fixed and ratio frequency. So this is the ratio one. Fixed will keep to the frequency ranges on the right. So let's do two kilohertz. 8 kilohertz, 255 kilohertz. Okay, so put it back on ratio. Um, you've got the algorithms here, the algorithm feedback. If we change the algorithm now, it's going to do nothing because we can only hear one operator. So let's let's have our operator two join us. Lovely. So now, if we change the algorithm. Well, number two sounds good to me. So now we can really mess around if we change the frequency of operator two, which we can either do here, or if we assign, if we turn the operator on, like I've got here, my CC number two will control the frequency of that. So I'll change it. First of all, I'll do it in the software so you can see what I'm doing. Now with the MIDI controller. It's a lot smoother with the MIDI controller. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. Um, it does come back with a lot of MIDI buffer effers, errors, sorry, <laughs> um, when you're messing around with these knobs on the computer. But if there are MIDI CC messages, you get absolutely no MIDI buffer errors. Okay, um, let's put frequency, let's put operator 2 on a fixed frequency, such as 2 kilohertz. Very nice metallic sound, I'm sure now if we change the algorithm, get some different textures. Algorithm 6 is quite unsuccessful for me at the moment. Okay, look, uh, for example, poly, poly mode, you have mono. And you can have your sequencer running, playing playing a sequence of music. You can have your DAW triggering the TX81Z and change these in real time. You can also write these CC uh, messages within your software. Um, so it will send the message direct. 
Um, yeah, so that's the software. Let's turn on some of the other operators. Let's see what else. Let's see what kind of crazy sounds we can get out of this. Okay, before I do that, I'm just gonna, we're gonna go back to operator one, which is mono, let's turn it to polyphonic again. Um, on the right hand side here, you have the waveform selection. So we have waveform one, sine wave, waveform two, triangle, waveform three, not sure, uh, sawtooth, other sawtooth, louder sawtooth, six, So you've got the choice of the waveform for each one here, 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 and here. What's nice about the TX81Z is when you're changing the parameters here on the software, um, you're actually also able to see on the screen exactly what's happening, which is a really nice function. Thank you very much for doing that, Yamaha. It's also the same on DX7. It just makes life a lot easier. Okay, you can see, I'll turn up these operators back up now can see on the right hand side here we've got the algorithm CC9 is going to algorithm CC10 to feedback CC11 to LFO speed and these are all drop down menus you can choose from the entire range of options within the synth so it's a lot quicker than actually using the front panel because that takes ages uh, let's mess around with the algorithm we've got the operators back up again so algorithm is number nine Let's mess around with the pitches. I've got the four pitches assigned here. Uh, the frequency for one, frequency for two, frequency for three, and frequency for four is my first CC numbers. As you can hear, it's really nice to automate them. In many, time, in many situations with these synths, they're not automated because they're so difficult to program. But in this case, you can automate them and you can choose what you want to automate as well. Level scaling is here. Pitch mod depth. I think the pitch mod depth. Uh, I think that needs to be assigned somewhere else to um, mod wheel pitch. pitch. Um, okay, you've also got the delay effects. So you've got the time and the pitch of the delay and the feedback. So this is like fake delay really. It's not actually, there's no processing, it's just sending corresponding MIDI messages after a keys press. For example, if I just play one note, it's just playing a number at the end. It's not actually got any effects built in, but it's quite cool. Ah, uh, there's your effects level. Ah, uh, there we go. So that's the delay. You can see the pitch. Let's put the time very close. So just turn off that reverb. And this is the delay. As with a lot of these synths um, and the way the software runs at the moment is um, the knobs are actually back to front. Uh, this is a very simple thing for me to change. I haven't done it yet. Um, there are a few tweaks necessary. Um, okay, yeah, there's also, I think there's a, there was a chord there is a chord effect for this, I can't see it here. You've also got a panning panning feature if you've got stereo output. So there you are, this is the TX81Z um, editor that I've created. I would quite like some people to test it, so if anyone wants to contact me you can um, through Twitter or SoundCloud or any other method at all, write a comment in the video. Okay, I'm now going to add a little bit at the end, which is me playing with this thing. Thank you very much for watching, see you later.